it's me again. I just wanted to come on here and make another video. This video is going to be about um, my supplies for anatomy and physiology too. Hold on a second. Okay. My supplies for anatomy and physiology too. Some of them are new. Not a lot of them are new. Some of them are reused from anatomy and physiology one. I, I probably mentioned in a previous video the my teacher for anatomy and physiology two just sent out a syllabus letting us know what to expect from her course. She will not be dropping any grades, so I hate this is college, so you shouldn't be expecting them to drop any grades, but it is definitely different from my anatomy and physiology one teacher who decided not to continue on to teach anatomy and physiology two. We were all quite disappointed about that, but it is what it is. So now I'm going to a college that's closer to my house and works best for me. And luckily I got into her class. And so she released the syllabus and the syllabus basically details everything that you know, should know. Everything that she expects in the class and what's going to happen. It looks like the labs are going to be set up much like the lab exams will be set up much like it was in anatomy and physiology one, where we're going to go to stations and identify structures. It looks like this lab is more hands-on. I'm not sure. I'm just reading it. Uh, there will be four exams, and they will consist of a lecture and a lab exam. But um, anyway, let's get into it. What my supplies are. So first off, we have these. These are post-it notes with tabs that I feel I will be using in my book. They are lined so I can put a lot of information on them. And yeah, I think they're really handy dandy. Different colors. I can't even believe I said handy dandy. But um, anyway, they come in a booklet and I bought these off of Amazon. I believe it was like six dollars at the time. I also have my index cards, different colors. They were so, so handy to me in Anatomy and Physiology 1. They helped me a great deal, so I will be using them again. And hopefully they will work just as well as they did last time for my memorization. And of course, a notebook. Gotta have it. This one has pockets. Uh, I'm not sure where I bought this one. I'm basically carrying it over from last semester. And I also have my anatomy coloring book, which I've also been using from last semester. Um, this was a big help last semester when it came to the muscles and the bones. And I, in the syllabus and the email that she sent out, she let us know that we will be starting with the heart, the cardiovascular system. So I've kind of already started looking at the structures in here and coloring some of the structures and looking at how the blood flows in and out of the heart, coloring that as well. And I love this book because it just gives you basic information on the side, some of the points that you will need, and um, identifies the structure for you. It makes it easier for someone like me who's very visual. Visual, kinesthetic. Another book that she said is recommended but not required is the Histology book, which I used in Anatomy um, 430. And so I already had it here, and it's the loose leaf one. I'm not sure if there's, well, actually, there is because the teacher did have a paperback one, but this is the loose leaf one. And so I will be utilizing this if needed. As for the books that she recommends, I mean, not recommends that are not optional, that are, that is needed. It's this book. This is the book that I used last semester, except it was the current edition. This book is the eighth edition. She was, she's requiring us to use the eighth edition, which I'm very happy about because that means I'm saving money. So I found this bad boy on Amazon for ten dollars used not rented 
and I was very happy about that. So I snatched it up with quickness, and it's just basically all the same information. And I guess that's what her just is. It's any anatomy book. But, um, yeah, $10 this month. Now, one of my new purchases is this Happy Planner from Michaels. Mine says make every day count, as you can read. And I will be keeping track of all assignments in this bad boy. I love this planner. Um, I'm not really a planner person, but I guess I will be. Keep track of all my assignments in here and everything that I need to do because I am a planner. And uh, it would be nice to put all the chaos that I have going on in my mind down on paper, down on something. Now, I don't plan on taking this everywhere with me and breaking it out and seeing if I'm free. That's not, that's not how I operate. So, um, but it, it will help for the most part. But it has a monthly view, it has the weekly view, which I do love, and the different boxes that you can keep track of things in. Now, some people go ham with this thing and put stickers everywhere and make it a scrapbooking planner and I don't know if I can do all that. Um, but what I do know is that I do love quotes so maybe I'll buy those quote stickers that you can buy from Michaels or uh, Amazon and stick them everywhere up in here because I do need continual motivation to do what I'm doing because it is exhausting. Um, but yeah. Bought this planner on sale from Michaels. It's an 18 month planner. You can remove the months. You can remove anything from here. And you can also insert things in here. So, anything with quotes, I think I'm going to insert. But yeah, this is the planner. I am also. I'm also going to use gel pens, which I do love, so that will help me to keep track of the information that I need to remember. Another thing that I do have are sheets that the teacher gave us to print out. These are lecture sheets that she expects us to keep track of, all the important notes, um, or all the important things that she's saying during the lecture, basically. You write them down and uh, that's what she's using to study with. She doesn't provide study study notes or study guides. These lecture sheets basically are the study guides. Keep track of what she's saying. Write it down. Uh, bam, that's your uh, that's your study guide. So see how that goes. But basically, these were three dollars. She was offering these for three dollars at the bookstore, where she said you could download them from D2L, all 84 pages, for free. And I downloaded it, so yeah, I'm not spending three dollars if I can get it for free. So yeah, that's basically what I have this semester. Um, as I said, the semester starts next Wednesday for me. I'm ready for it, as ready as I can be. I was going to take microbiology at the same time that in it but then I ended up dropping it yesterday um, before the semester starts because I don't want the possibility of neglecting one class and not getting the greatest grade that I could have gotten in both of them and with my life working full-time having kids having a family having a, being a wife and all that jazz I just think this is the best decision for me and so I will be taking microbiology next semester. It'll have to wait and be pushed back, but it's all good. I think it's the best decision. So that's basically what I have, and I will keep you guys <sighs> keep you guys up to date with what happens throughout this class. And uh, hopefully, you all have a great semester. Also. Let's get some A's. Let's go out there and do the best that we can. Let's get into nursing school. Let's apply. Whatever it is, let's knock out these prereqs because I think, I believe that we can do this. So yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions on what you think would help me in 431, please let me know and uh, I will look into it.
Thank you for watching this video. Bye.